Hamish, it's Hamish um, from Vision on TV. We're, writing, we're reporting from the Open Rights Conference and we've got a really interesting person here because she's on the board of TOR. So um, can you introduce yourself? Sure, thanks. I'm Wendy Seltzer and I'm one of the directors of the TOR project, uh, a network for anonymous uh, web browsing and internet use and censorship circumvention. So can you tell me um, you know, how does TOR work, just quickly? Uh, Tor works through onion routing. Basically, it sends the traffic through a series of encrypted hops uh, where at each hop it's wrapped and unwrapped in layers like the layers of an onion uh, so that when it comes out the other end of the network, no one can correlate who you are and what you're trying to do or whom you're trying to communicate with. Uh, so that would mean a website couldn't track you uh, from visit to visit um, or uh, a hostile regime trying to, to figure out what you were browsing uh, couldn't identify you as the person going to the so, website. So basically, what it is, is doing, what it's, it's, it's kind of obscurating, it's making your IP address hard to find, but when you actually query a website, you send much more information, your browser, your Java situation, what's installed on your browser, etc. Surely this can still identify you. Does it do anything about that? Um, well, we offer the Tor Browser Bundle, which is a package that includes uh, a standardized web browser uh, precisely to guard against those kinds of fingerprinting attacks um, and the the, the Tor client software, so you don't uh, have to configure anything. You download the browser bundle on Windows, Mac, Linux, uh, run it even from a USB stick, uh, and that will uh, set you up with a fairly well-secured connection. Uh, now, of course, if you go and log in or provide identifying information and what you post once you get there, uh, Tor can't protect you against that. But we think as part of a package of security considerations, uh, Tor can be an important part. Yeah, that sounds pretty good because I've tried installing Tor plugins and applications over the years and none of them have ever worked, but actually it sounds like you might have solved my problem. Um, Tor browser bundle is what you want, yes. Okay, so but you know, philosophically, why is Tor important? Uh, because uh, Tor is important because you shouldn't have to be identified in order to use internet resources. There are lots of good reasons why you might want to browse anonymously or to hide your identity. It might be that you are uh, a political dissident. Uh, it might be that you are seeking competitive information and don't want uh, a potential business uh, partner or acquisition to know that you're looking. Uh, it might be that you're a victim of domestic violence and don't want your attacker to know uh, where you've gone as you try to check into the shelter or uh, just to live a normal life on the internet. Might even be that you're law enforcement and trying to, to track criminals without uh, letting them know that law enforcement is, uh, is following their trail. And all of these users together uh, make the, the anonymity pool stronger. Uh, mm -hmm. So um, there's, there's a changing idea of privacy and I'm very curious. So Tor is about um, bringing some privacy back to the internet because the internet worked because it was a completely unprivate network. It was stupidly open and that's why it worked. So do you feel that there's a danger that we could undermine the, the sheer naivety of how the internet works? I think the internet works, I'd say, not because it's private or public, but because it's general purpose, because the internet doesn't have a specific idea of how you should identify yourself. Uh, and so Tor is technology to give you uh, one set of choices there. If you choose not to, to reveal your identity, if you choose not to allow for traffic analysis with your browsing, uh, Tor enables that. If you choose instead to log into sites and uh, to be traceable, uh, you have that option. So, so Tor, Tor is about providing more choice. Okay, so if people want to help out with Tor, how can they get involved on different levels? Um, the, there are several things. Come to torproject.org and uh, you'll see a page where you can uh, download the software. Uh, you can make a donation. We're a 501c3 nonprofit in the United States. Um, you can run a Tor node. Uh, we need both uh, bridge nodes, entry points into the network, middle nodes, um, and exit nodes. So this is like the skin of the onion. You can be one of the skins yes. of the onion. <laughs> That's right. And because of the way the network is set up, each hop doesn't know uh, enough to de-anonymize someone, uh, but we need lots of those hops. And you can, if you're a coder, you can uh, contribute to the code, help solve some uh, naughty design problems of uh, making the, the Tor traffic uh, more indistinguishable from other network traffic, harder to censor. Um, you can help us with uh, user interface design or uh, help spread the word. Um, Torproject.org has lots of ways to, to help out and uh, we really value the, the free and open source software community uh, that participates in development.
Fantastic. Okay, so torproject.org. Um, it's probably worth um, having a look. And even if you don't know about computers, you know, download their bundle because I reckon it might work, which is a good thing. Hamish Campbell reporting for Vision on TV.